At first glance, the small town of South Park seems no different than any other. But deep beneath the surface of this mountain hamlet, there are secrets of passion. Came to And this small town is finding out more than it's bargained for. What the hell was that? South Park, the unkept secret. If you don't get Comedy Central, you don't get South Park. Call your cable operator or visit our website. So, you're a big fan of Comedy Central's animated hit show, South Park. <laughs> Well, next time you tune in, why not stick around and check out some of our other great original programming. Like every Monday night, starting June 15th, it's our award-winning show, Dr. Cat's Professional Therapist. I, the trained shrink, who tends to the neurotic minds of today's hottest comedians. So you blame yourself for uh, a lack of a romance in your life? I mean, when it comes to sex and stuff, I totally, whenever anyone spends a night at my house, come 2 a.m., I'm like a bartender. It's like, all right, people, wrap it up. You don't have to go home, but you can't stay here. I watch the Weather Channel constantly. Mm -hmm. It's very, it's very soothing, but it's really these guys are too excited about it. I just they, they're saying the historic winter of '96. Mm -hmm. You know, you'll be able to tell your children and your grandchildren about it. Wow, yeah, I, I can't wait for that. You know, there's nothing that kids love better than weather stories from old people. Mm. Grandpa, tell us again about the time it was cold. Oh, well, yeah. Grandmother and I had to wear. Hats. Okay, everybody, find your hiding places. Come on, help me! Hurry up! And premiering Monday nights on June 15th, it's our newly anticipated animated series, Bob and Margaret, featuring the ordinary lives of an eccentric married couple and their attempts to change their mundane world. Never have children. Uh, come on, let's sit in the living room. I don't know. Maybe I should get out of dentistry altogether. I hardly anyone flosses anymore. What's the point? Oh, that's nice. Uh, well, I think there's something funny on TV. Maybe I should get into something more exciting, like ophthalmology. Plus, weeknights at 11, it's The Daily Show, where anchor Frank Kilborn and his team of correspondents put their own satirical spin on today's headlines. Tapes reportedly imply Lewinsky had a year and a half affair with Clinton. The president fired back, that's impossible. I would have become bored and cheated on her after six months. <laughs> Tops. While still managing to score some inside scoop from Hollywood's hottest stars. Armageddon, we're the last two people on the face of the earth. Uh, the human race depends on us. Would you at least consider it? <laughs> So, don't miss out on Comedy Central's great original program. Trust us. After all, you did buy this South Park tape, didn't you? That was awesome. Yeah. <laughs> if you can't get enough company on our air, why not visit us online at ComedyCentral.com? With our great games, contests, and original humor, you might just download in your pants. So look us up. We're always open at ComedyCentral.com. After 20 years, Viva Variety, the most celebrated television show in European history, finally lands on American soil. And there are the hosts, Mr. and the former Mrs. LePan, with sidekick Johnny Blue Jeans and the swimsuit squad on the way to their press conference. Viva Variety has every big celebrity. Gorgeous rock stars. A bizarre displays of humanity. Uh, I have a question for you. Why do you wear so many microphones? I don't know. People away, Tuesday nights at 10, only at Comedy Central. Ladies and gentlemen, after the last time we had these guys on the show, we received an outpouring of cards and letters. They've just returned from a sold-out tour of Europe. They'll be performing at the Tropicale in Las Vegas starting June 14th. Please welcome back to the show, the fabulous Freaking Brothers!
And now, a fireside chat with the creators of Comedy Central South Park, Matt Stone and Trey Parker. With the Hello, I'm Trey Parker. And I'm Matt Stone. And this is Old Scratch. Say hi, old fella. This episode is called An Elephant Fucks a Pig, but the network's had it changed to An Elephant Makes Love to a Pig, which is kind of silly because if an elephant was on top of a pig, it wouldn't be making love to it, it would be fucking it. Would you agree with the statement, this episode confirms that Matt Stone and Trey Parker are nothing but sick weirdos? You know, what is so sick and wrong about two beings sharing the most intimate of moments? That's what I want to know. Do you come at the gene splicing of DNA from personal experience? Well, yes. I actually made Trey from splicing a tomato and a flounder. Guys, do you have strong ethical views on whether we should tamper with nature in real life? Well, both Matt and I think that Genetic engineering is great, and that everything should be spliced with everything. Why, that's the only way we're ever going to become perfect beings. Isn't that right, old scratch? I think we should splice pigs with elephants and tomatoes with apples. I myself would like to be spliced with Fiona Apple. <laughs> <laughs> and so now, sit back, relax, and enjoy. An elephant fucks a pig.